Welcome to a Parallel Project Training APM Project Management Qualification Podcast based on the APM Body of Knowledge 6th edition. You should be using this in conjunction with our e-learning, study guide and potentially a tutor-led course. For more information, please visit www.parallelprojecttraining.com. Hello, welcome to this Power Oil Project Training Podcast. We're working through the APM Project Management Qualification with Paul Neighbour and Mr Bolton. Hello. And we've got to another really exciting uh, topic related quite closely to governance, which is methods. Yippee! <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> we can tell we really love oh, methods. Oh, God. Methods are those sort of things that get imposed on you, aren't they? Yeah, methods are a way of doing something. Uh, period. End of. Move on. <laughs> <laughs> so a method. Uh, so that let's just go through what the learning objectives are. Explain our project management methodologies. They're not methodologies, they're methods. Can be used to support the governance structure. Explain the advantages of using standard project management methods across an organisation. Methodologies. Methodologies are the study of methods. Is it? Like psychology is the study of social science, yes? Okay. Well, psychology is the study of psyche. Do, sociology is the study of society. You do a degree in methodology. No, you're not, you're not studying a method. What okay. you're doing is you're, it's, got, it's a project method. Yes, It's okay. a way of doing something. Right, so what is a method? It's a standard way of working That's right. that most organisations adopt. Yeah. In order to give them governance, even it's part the, of governance, right. even it's, even the most sort of, I don't know, the most simple project organisation as a project management method, they nearly always have something that's got to be signed, yes, a form that's got to be filled in, or a template for this, or something for that, and that's no more or less a method than something that fills up fifteen shelves full of stuff. Yes, we were just know? joking about the old Prince One method. Yeah. Well, it wasn't called Prince One then. It was called Prince. Prince yeah. It was humongous. It was called Projects in a Controlled Environment. It still is. Uh, y- yes, okay. It's not, is it? It's Prince Two now. Projects that's in a Controlled tra- that, Environment yeah, Two. That's the trade. Yeah, Prince Two. Because <laughs> no one did Prince One because it's too big and unwieldy. So yes. they all do Prince Two now. Yes. Yeah. So I mean, Prince Two is about the only publicly available method that I know of, really. Project management method. I think it is. Yeah. And I think the part of that is is sort of the APM being inclusive, really, to just recognise the fact that it is quite widespread. Yes. People get confused. They talk about the APM method and the PRINCE2 method. Uh-huh. APM is not a method. It's a knowledge. It's a knowledge-based standard, yeah. It's, so it's, it's like the PMI. So yeah. the PMI isn't a method. It's a... Mm. The PMI is more like a method Yeah. because it's got process maps That's and right. inputs That's and right. outputs. But the APM doesn't, you see. The APM doesn't. The APM's only got about five documents they kind of talk about. They talk about a business uh-huh. case, a project management plan, a risk log, change log, an issue log. Stakeholder, comms plan. Stakeholder map and comms. They talk about lots of process. They talk yes. about lots of documents, but yes. there's no templates as such. Yes. You know, if you look in Prince 2, there's a... You 200 know, templates. Yeah, there's more you can shake a stick at. So mm-hmm. I think... You know, people get confused. They say, oh, why are we doing it the APM way? Why aren't we doing it the PRINCE2 way? Well, they're complementary. Mm-hmm. PRINCE2 mm-hmm. is a method, a way of doing something. You follow the process that it prescribes. Mm-hmm. And PRINCE methods comprise people, products, processes, templates and tools. They talk about roles and responsibilities. Yes. They talk about things that you produce. They talk about technical products and managerial products. They so talk these are documents generally. Yeah, that's right products they talk about processes that you follow risk issue management that's change right. control that's yes. right templates um so when you produce a product it tends to have a formal uh, standard format. template you're filling for your business that's right and mm-hmm. it also suggests tools like things like you know risk identification techniques or something or tools for doing configuration management or mm-hmm. tools mm-hmm. for doing reporting. risk management or reporting yeah? yeah so it talks about sort of mechanical aids to help you achieve the end that's right. So the re- so that means that, so what you'll generally find in most organisations is they have their method, hmm. which they adopt, and they might not call it a method. It might just be the way things are done around here. That's right. And what it does, it makes sure that the organisation has the ability to impose its governance, because uh-huh. it says, "I want everybody to do it this way." Yes. And everybody does it this way. Yes. Yes. Uh, or it, it might be more organic than that. It might be that. It, People just start working in the same way rather than reinventing the wheel. Yeah. They, it's not sort of imposed from above. It's sort of the project managers share mm. templates and spreadsheets around. I've seen that a little bit. Mm. Um, 
less less mature organisations. They just tend to. Yeah, well, I suppose. It, I mean, you could, you could sort of have an evolutionary method, couldn't you? It sort of evolves. That's right. You discover it as you go. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Well, as than... as organisations get better at projects, so they they tend to want more structure rather than less. Yes, that's right. That's right. So you don't want to reinvent the wheel no, no, no. every time. If some bright sparks invented a template for something, then people nick it and it reuse gets it. absorbed into the business and becomes the way of doing it. That's right. If you try and impose it from scratch, you probably fail because people will just see it as a load of bureaucracy. Yes, that's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. It's got to add value. I think a lot of criticisms of it are that it's just it's just a load of paperwork and why do I need to fill all these forms in? So it's got a close link to um, governance. It's method. The, yeah, I mean, it's, 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 one, one, it's one, one of the ways in which an organisation imposes governance. Yeah, yeah, good, good. So the benefits of uh, a method are, are quite similar to the benefits of good governance, really. Um, and we came up with this C's thing a few years ago, which we've got bored of by now, but we're going to stick with it, are we? Oh, why not? It's in, <laughs> it's in the book. Yeah, it's, it's as good as anything. I mean, if, you know, people say, well, if I, if I write these four, will I get the right answer? Well, yeah, sort of. But there's nothing to say there aren't others. If you can think of other benefits, then you know, fill your boots. Yes, yes. These are just the bare minimum, really. And in fact, there's only four of them because I couldn't think of a fifth C, really. Oh, we had a game once where we, I think we came up with 12 Cs. Did you? Yes. <laughs> We're just going around the room, coming up with more and more Cs. <laughs> and now I can't even remember which ones are the official Cs. No. But anyway, let's go through the official Consistency. Cs. So Consistency. Everyone, everyone does it the same way. Yeah, everyone does it the same way. So that means producing the same products in the same way so so we can learn lessons yeah. continuity yeah so you get run over by the bus so so uh, somebody else can pick up your project or if you get moved off to another project it means that the project manager who comes in knows that's how, right. how how you've structured it that's right and um, communication so when we talk about you go to the form a's the form a's got to be in next week yeah. Then everyone knows what the heck you're talking about. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so we've got the sort of standard templates that you have to do, yeah. and, and organisations are full of those sort of abbreviations and little process steps that they have. That's right. Clarity. So the method will say, right, well, this is the order of products you have to produce at various stages in the project. And if you're going for gate approval, you have to do submit this, 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 and this. So, it, so at least you. You clear what you have. Nothing worse than turning from a meeting and them saying, well, what, are you, you what are you doing here? You haven't done Form 48C, yeah, 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 go yeah. away. <laughs> yes. you, you know, you say your project's bounced because you haven't... Uh, it's not signed. Yeah. Or they've they got a totally different expectation about what, what, what to produce. Mm. Um, and I think capability too, because if you're doing really complex projects, if everybody's working in or, or programmes and everybody's working in their own way, it's really difficult to coordinate. But if you've got a, a consistent approach across the organisation, it means you can do bigger and more complex projects. Something like the Olympics, you know, you need... Um, everybody was made to fill in the same progress report, for instance. Yeah. So, um, and I think we came up with do dozens and dozens of these. I think confidence would be another one. Confidence, yes. If that's right, confidence. Mm. Let's not play that game. <laughs> <laughs> I can see you thinking. We're busy, we're busy thinking we of the sick one. We didn't want to make this too long. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, my yeah, good. Yeah. Uh, so that was, um, that was Methods in eight minutes. Yeah. Well, aren't you pleased about that, listeners? Um, there's not much else to say, really. I mean, you know, I think every organisation has a method, some more complicated than others, and they add some value if, as long as they're used in the right way. If they're, if they're mm -hmm, just a, mm -hmm. a, an opportunity to print loads of paper, then you've got it wrong, really. Mm -hmm. So commend it to the house. Good. Good and, job. and Prince 2 is the intellectual property of a company called Axelos Limited. <laughs> it is. Yes. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this podcast and found it informative. To order a study guide, e-learning, or a tutor-led course to go with this podcast, please visit www.parallelprojecttraining.com.